Welcome to the Toffee Blues Everton News Feed. As you may have noticed, I'm stepping in as your host, Max, alongside me. Joining me is me as the water bottle brother, Tom. Hey. How's it going, Tom? You alright, lad? Yeah, not too bad. I think we just discussed the um, Sheffield Wednesday. Sheffield United's game, and we move on to Sheffield Wednesday. So um, hopefully we'll be able to get more look out of them. Obviously a league below, but uh, at the moment we're an absolute shambles, so we'll be lucky to get anything out of it. <laughs> yeah, all um, all doom and gloom on the Premier League front after back to back defeats by you know relatively. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go as far as to say it against easy opponents because it's, it's the elite level of English football. Like you're not gonna get any, you know, no one's gonna roll over for you. But again, the expectation that's placed on the club, we should be in a lot better standing than what we are. Um, I personally believe that the result just gone can be redeemed with a convincing and a decent result in the week in the cup against Wednesday. Um, we've we've combined our football and brains within the space of about 20 minutes to gather all the potential research that we could on Sheffield Wednesday. So at this very moment in time, they are ninth in the championship, having played eight, won four, drew one and lost three. Give them an accumulated 13 points. Gary Monk's the manager. He's on to his fifth managerial job after having the reign at Swansea, Leeds, Middlesbrough and Birmingham. Um, notable players for your discussion. There's one of the Murphy brothers, you know, who came through at Newcastle. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure, there's Newcastle on the Murphy bubbles. I think he's on loan there. Um, and Stephen Fletcher, who's the top scorer so far this season, who, who rung a bell straight away. Obviously, ex Burnley, Wolves, Sunderland, and would you believe it, Marseille. Mm. Um, not, I mean, not too shabby in the last couple of results. Um, the just picked up a draw against uh, against Fulham and they've won two nil away at Huddersfield. Obviously, Fulham and Huddersfield both relegated from the Premier League last season. I'm not saying that's given them an exact equivalent of an opponent in terms of caliber or skill, but surely that will be giving them a bit of a pep in the step as we you know as we go down there, won't it? Yeah, I think they'll be confident against us after seeing their uh, obviously the. The neighbours do so well against us at the weekend. Uh, no, they don't even do so well, actually. Um, that, but that's a different matter. Uh, after seeing the neighbours win against us at the weekend, um, so they they'll probably they, they'll have a go. It's a big cup tie for them. They'll be um, obviously Premier League opponents, and they, they'll be they'll be well up for it. Um, big, big cup tie. I think they'll be definitely more pepped up than we will. So I'm hoping like Marco Silva will be able to be able to pep up his players and perhaps go for it in this one. Cause <clears> I think they definitely will be. Um, yeah, looking at some of the players, we just, just had the one-one draw with Fulham, which, which is all right, and they've they've got a couple of players that could trouble us. They've got a little bit of pace. Um, Kadeem Harris on the left wing is quite fast up against potentially Seamus Coleman, but I think I do think Sadie Bay will play. But um, so hopefully he'll be able to handle him, having won a World Cup. But um, kind of like a, a standard Championship level team. There's not there's not too special about them. There's like uh, obviously the uh, Stephen Fletcher up front. Decent, um, but there's there's not any brilliant players there. They're just pretty standard. So um, if we if we have a go, then it's it's a well winnable game, and it's a, it's a I wouldn't say a must win, but it, like it's getting towards that at the moment with the pressure on Marco Silva from fans um, and just kind of the feeling around the club at the moment. This is really what we need to 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 kind of source like as you, as you say this this could redeem redeem our pretty poor start of the season and um, because if we can go on a cup run even if we don't finish the best in the league the fans love a cup run and that really would make our season so it's, this is the chance tomorrow of course and you said um, mate, you know, the, I mean I say this with all, with all due respect that there doesn't seem to be anything in particular that sticks out or is special about them but as I've kind of come to conclude after this start of the season this has very much felt like a just almost the start of a muy season to me. Like I can I can remember, you know, a half full of early season results on the Moyes where we've just started really poorly and it's took us until the, like maybe even approaching, you know, the winter time, the you know, the November, December, before we actually get our stuff together and, and you know, 
rag ourselves up the table. But as you say, it's it's the cup. Um, genuinely, I think the last time we had any sort of decent cup run was under Martinez. I think remember when we made both semi-finals in the League Cup and the FA Cup. But again, still not not remarkable, particularly in the League Cup. That we, we just again is something that I always refer to when discussing the League Cup. How can we have what nine league titles, five FA Cups, a European Cup winners' cup, and no league title? I mean, no League Cup. Like surely to God, at some point in our history, we're going to have to get one of those in the cabinet. But um, given the current spell of form, who knows? I see in. Marco Silva's apparently recently come out, you know, and said to the lads after that after that defeat to Sheffield United that, you know, we need to beat Everton. I've got to be honest, lad, I couldn't think of worse advice to be given to a group of players ahead of a cup game. <laughs> we don't do anything in the cups. But as you say, as you say, do you know what? Even if it's an opportunity to give some lads a run out, like it's you know, we're playing in Yorkshire, the back line aren't having you know, the best of runs, put Mason Holgate in there, you know, maybe, maybe put Anthony, Anthony Gordon on the bench, reward his good run of form, show the players that, you know, slack in form and you've got to be on your toes, you know, you can't rest easy, particularly if you want to be competitive. Um, I think, you know, you look at that squad that he field, I mean, the, the team that he put out and the squad that he selected for that Lincoln game, I don't think he's taken it lightheartedly. Like I know, definitely in the past we've, you know, we've all, we've almost gone in into like league cup games in particular, and you know, very rarely got out of second gear. But particularly as you say, I, I refrain to say pressure. I don't think he's under pressure. I think he's having a blip. Is it now? It's his second season. Like. It happens. It happened under Martinez. You've just got to let it let it run its due course to be able to give, you know, an even assessment. But I think he's going to take it seriously. I think he he wants to achieve something. And I am I'm in his corner all the way. To be honest with you, mate, I'm not I'm not going to be one of those that starts jumping on his back. He's you know, do he's doing what he can. The squad that, it's, that that you know that he's got at his at his disposal. If the persistence with the four two three one continues, if this kind of blind madness of launching you know attacking players on without any sort of strategic approach continues, then I'm thinking I might have a problem with him. But I'll take him in an all-black suit and a nice watch on the touchline over Sam Allardyce in a gravy-stained Umbro jacket, to be honest with you. <laughs> watch it. Um, just to finish off the video, have you got any departing thoughts on Marco Silva at this current moment in time? Yeah, yeah, just what you were saying as well. Like The 4-3-1 seems to have been a permanent fixture since, since his arrival, but I do remember um, when he first joined, uh, everyone was kind of wondering what formation he'd play, and he kind of kept Kept preferring to this 4-3-3 that he was desperate to play with his, with his number his number six. And he was like, oh, Schne- Morgan Schneiderlin can be my number six. Well, I think that's changed now, obviously, because we've got people, better players like Andre Gomez and Fabian Dell. But I would like to see that 4-3-3. And if there's a, a, an opportunity to to try it out, um, it's it's at the moment because the 4 2 3 one's pretty stale. I think people will be people were peed off at using two defensive midfielders against Sheffield United. Now that would be even worse against Sheffield Wednesday. So I think if the four three three is if is going to get a run out, then this is the chance to do it. Obviously, I wouldn't I wouldn't make too much changes because people, like everyone's everyone's going to be wanting a strong lineup um, in the cups. Obviously, there are some players out of form, but we want our best players out there and not too many kids. But obviously, um, give, yeah, give change it up a little bit. Obviously, hopefully, see the way back in some players who were. A little bit stale at the moment. Get them out. Get some. Maybe even Tom Davis instead of Gilfie Sigurdsson at the moment. I think. I think uh, people have understand that. Um, just g- give that a go. Um, because I think this is a good chance for him to probably prove that he's he's not he's not just there to sit on the bench and he, he can be given a go and play at a good level. But I would like to see four three three tomorrow. To be honest, um, but whether that will happen, I doubt it. But um, yeah, just it is. 
I wouldn't. It's, it's not a must-win match, but it's a really, really important match in Everton season so far. Um, possibly, potentially the most important because we are in really deep crap at the moment, and this should be the game to get us out of it. Yeah, of course. It's you know, it's got to be said. It still is only early. You know, it, it's coming towards the end of September. But yeah, I, I just echo your sentiment there mate I'd love to see a 4-3-3 be fielded come kick off will it happen remains to be seen and is highly unlikely probably mm-hmm. but we can dare to dream and, and hope to see something a little bit different hopefully you've um, you've enjoyed your Sheffield Wednesday match preview I think it's 7.45 kick off tomorrow yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah quarter to eight kick off tomorrow um, safe travels to all the lads heading down there hope you have a good trip and hopefully the Blues do the business make sure you say subscribe and in tune with all the Toffee Blues Everton newsfeed social media platforms and check them all out peace <laughs>